guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be something a little bit different. Um, Renee, who helps me run the communities with 3S Fitness, is here with me this week working. We thought it would be good to do an interview with me so that she can ask me some questions that maybe you guys have been wondering about. Yeah, I think we'll just jump right into it and um, yeah, hopefully you guys like it. So the first question I wanna ask is, what was your click moment? I, in junior high, high school, had a pretty severe eating disorder that um, kind of led me into the industry and kind of like what altered my beliefs about the industry a little bit. So um, after going through that, and it was about a year and a half to two years of my life, and I realized or I felt like I was meant to do something to change the fitness industry in general and how it made me feel and how it kind of led to my eating disorder. And so I've always felt, since I was 16 and, and went through that, that I was meant for that. Like I've always just felt like it was a weird calling. It was a weird moment for me. That was like a, it was an actual click moment where I was just like, I'm supposed to do something with this. I knew that it was gonna be something in this industry and in health and wellness to try to get people to live healthier and happier and in a way that they can love and embrace their bodies and their journeys. Since I was really little, I've always had this entrepreneurial type of spirit where I've wanted to own my own business and um, do something to really change the world. Since I was little, I totally believed that I was supposed to change the world in some way or that I really wanted to, I desperately wanted to, and affect people's lives in a positive way. And I was a very positive kid. I was really outgoing. Um, and a very common phrase to describe me like when I was little through now is who put a quarter in her. That's what my <laughs> whole family always used to say. Um, but what led me to start 3S Fitness is that I felt very alone in my own journey. And I moved around. I lived in um, West Virginia. And then when I was 16, I went to boarding school in Pennsylvania. And then I stayed in Pennsylvania for college at Bucknell University. And then I moved to Boston. And then I moved to Minnesota. And I lived in North Carolina a couple summers. And I would always um, go to these places and not know anybody. And one of the things that I was looking for, something I've always been interested in, was health and fitness and I was looking for people who had that common interest and to connect with those people, and I found it really challenging. Starting 3S Fitness was a way to connect people all over the world with common interests, even if it wasn't in person. It was a way that they could support each other and feel like they had a family and a place where they belonged in that industry, in, in the health and fitness industry. Can you talk a little more about how you feel about the fit fitness industry. I felt really lonely in my journey and I think the way that I feel about the fitness industry as a whole is that it's very lonely. I think that a lot of people feel alone in their journeys, alone in their problems, alone in their struggles within their journey and within the process and it's something really challenging. You know, losing weight, living happier and living healthier is hard and we're in, the fitness industry is an industry about comparison and because of that, it's lonely because it forces you to compare yourself to all these models and people that they're telling you that you should look like. And you're seeing all these people and you're just like, well, I don't look like those people. And so maybe you quit or maybe you just feel like you must be the only one that feels that way, even though you know that's not the case because so many people feel that way. Um, but I think it forces us to compare ourselves to other people, which makes it even more lonely. And it's just built around making sure that women consistently feel insecure because if women and with when women don't feel insecure these fitness companies think that they won't need them anymore but the point is to create a space that's so positive and empowering for women that they feel compelled to live that awesome lifestyle that doesn't exist right now anywhere else in the industry the way that 3s fitness is different than the rest of the industry is that it's a space where it's inclusive, not exclusive. It's a place where they don't feel like they need to compare to each other, which is so unique to me because even I've been a part of fitness communities, but they aren't this personal. They aren't this believable. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of fitness communities that I feel like I've been in, it's marketed as this community, but still, resonates with the what I believe is the selfish message of the fitness industry where it's about how good you look and kind of showing people up in the industry and it's like an upstaging type of community and the community that we have you cannot help when you meet these women but to get so invested in their journeys and to feel like 
you want them to be successful just as much as you want to be successful because everybody everybody just wants that for each other naturally and it's like I feel like it's a um, more natural display of true women's character yeah it is because it's not tainted by the industry right. they come into this space that is foreign because they've never seen a group like that I think it's a truer display of how women really feel about themselves and other women mm -hmm. without the way that society has told us to feel about ourselves mm -hmm. and other women. But that's what we do. We not only work on your physical health, but we're working on your mind and on accepting, accepting and then developing um, ways to deal with your insecurities or improve mm -hmm. upon them. It's not just about the physical part of it. And that's, I think, what is missing Mm -hmm. from the industry as a whole because once you have that it seems like these women they figure out who they are in the group too if and they transform in so many different ways it's just really different so one of the things that i've noticed in the over a year that i've worked for you mm -hmm. <laughs> um is how hard you work mm -hmm. and it's there's not there's not an off button for you yeah and i was just wondering what keeps you motivated to work so hard I honestly have, I feel every day, a responsibility to change this industry and change the way that women feel about themselves because I've been in that place where I've hated everything about myself and it's, it was the most awful time of my entire life. Every day there are women developing new eating disorders and, and harmful eating patterns and it's just, I can't, it's not something I can give up on ever and I just... I want everybody to have a place where they can learn about what their body needs and what they need mentally too that can support them the rest of their life and that can change their life. It, I mean, it's, it's really fun for me. Like, I love what I do and I never want to go to sleep. Like, I, every night no. I'm like, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to wake up and work the next day. But it's not, it's never been about money for me. Like, that's not why I started this. The point for me is to change the way women feel about themselves, change the way that they see this industry so that they can learn that it doesn't have to be hard or scary or, or difficult or impossible. Um, it's doable by anybody. Like if I can live a healthy and happy lifestyle, literally anybody can. But you have to accept yourself and your journey and consistently work on it. And the fitness industry is so all or nothing. I feel like a lot of programs, because you guys, I have bought them all. <laughs> like I have, I have bought them all. I own them all. Since I was like 15, I followed that. Or I have done every workout program by every famous trainer, I swear, or at least tried it. And they're all so similar to me. It doesn't mean that they're bad, but a lot of them resort to extreme forms of diet and weight loss. Um, to help you get weight off or put muscle on in really unhealthy, exaggerated ways. And it's not sustainable and it hurts you mentally. It's a really big mind mess for you when you get that weight off and then you don't, you wonder why you can't keep it off. And so I think it's, when I say all or nothing, I mean, I think a lot of companies resort to really extreme forms of diet and weight loss. There's no middle ground, right? There's no like healthy way of living. There's like this extreme dieting. And then there's just like the you'll never get there, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. where you should just give up. Because if you aren't willing to do this, then this is your only other option. I'm trying to create that middle ground of it's okay to not be on either side. It's just the way that the media and the industry has taught us that it is. Right. And then we just accept it. What would you tell somebody that doesn't believe that there can be a middle ground. That were what you're looking for. That yeah. 3S Fitness is the middle ground. That even though we're new and we're small and we, you may never have heard of us before, although you probably have if you've been following <laughs> this channel. It's what we're trying to do. And there's a quote by Margaret Mee that actually Renee introduced me to that says, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And we might be small, but we're mighty and we have big goals and big dreams for this company, for this industry, for women all over the world. And 
it's what you're looking for. If you've felt alone, if you've felt intimidated, scared, any negative emotion toward this industry, the only emotion you'll feel with 3S Fitness is positivity and love and self-love and acceptance inclusion. and inclusion. Exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. It's something that it's different. And um, we want to show as many people as we can what we do. And because of that, we've decided to do an enrollment period. Um, we've only opened up a really limited number of spots. So if you want to take advantage of it, make sure that you make sure that you do soon because um, we're not expecting it to last too long. But it is a free month with 3S Fitness for your enrollment. So it's still a subscription plan, but you can enroll for free right now. So you don't have to pay the entrance fee. Um, so that information is below. If you want to find out more, you can click and go enroll. It's got the everything that you need to know in that link. And if you have any questions about what we do, or if you're confused about anything, you can email me directly. I will have it linked below. It's strengthsweatsoul at gmail.com. And I also do fitness consultations. So if you want more information, if you're not sure what's right for you, I'll have that linked below so you can get a fitness consultation with me. It's totally free. I'm not going to charge you for it. Um, I just want to learn more about you and about your goals and how I think that we can help you. And um, I can only do that by you telling me what you need, um, which is something that a DVD can't give to you. I'm a real person. I'm the only trainer in this company. And everything is built for you by me. Your questions are answered by me. Renee answers them in the communities for you guys. Um, But we're just here for you. And if you like this video, if you like this message, I encourage you to share it with your friends and family, share it on social media, help us spread a positive message about the industry because it's something that it's significantly lacking. I feel like when people think about the fitness industry, whatever their first thought is, it's usually negative or has some sort of negative connotation um, to it about comparison, about competing with other people, about, um, Looking good in a bikini. Yeah, right, mm-hmm. right. Then that and that that's all it's about, and it's just not at all. Mm-hmm. So I think that's really it, and that's it for our interview today. I hope that you guys liked it. Um, I know it's a little bit different, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Thank you to Renee <laughs> for being here and interviewing me for you guys today. And I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.